Here's a brief history of IT infrastructure, where we are now and where we're going. Spoiler, where we're going, we won't need infrastructure. In the beginning, there were bare metal servers. These servers had a single operating system on which many different apps could run. Or not run, I'm looking at you Windows Vista. Then came the virtual revolution, where we could run multiple virtual machines on one piece of hardware. Each VM could run a separate OS, each with its own apps. The newest revolution is containers. A container is essentially standalone executable software that includes everything needed to run the software, including the code, the runtime, system libraries, and so on. So now you can have a server or cluster, and you can either run an app as a self-contained container or have multiple containers functioning together as a single app. The infrastructure of the future might look more serverless. Because of the dramatic move into the cloud, much of the hardware needs will be provided by vendors like AWS and Azure. Now apps can provide their business logic by means of microservices or individual functions. These can be accessed by front ends using an API. This is what the solution for services like Netflix, DAZN and many others looks like. For an in-depth discussion of these concepts, watch our interview with Greg Campion, a cloud engineer here at Tesla.